Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the video. My name is Katie. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I am going to show you what I eat in a day again on a plant based diet. I have been fully plant based for a little over a month now, and I'm going to do a video about that, but a little later on. So if you'd like to see what I'm going to eat in a day, please stay tuned. And yeah. breakfast time as you just saw I made some lemon water and then I drank cue the dog I drank some celery juice this morning it was a little smaller just because I had a smaller celery come on here she goes so now I'm going to make a smoothie slash oatmeal bowl so I will show you everything I'm putting into it. I'm going to put up some of these oats. They are gluten free organic oats. I know it's in a plastic bag, but I just haven't got my jar from my move yet. We're working with that, so I'm going to put about a half a cup to three fourths cup of oats in this trusty pot. And then we're going to pick those up, and then I'm going to make a smoothie on the side. So all of this is going into my smoothie. I pretty much got it all from Grocery Outlet, actually. So I have frozen strawberries, dark sweet cherries, uh, organic spinach. I have some turmeric powder. This is cordyceps. It's uh, adaptogenic mushroom. I got some spirulina. I get these in bulk from my co-op. And then I ran out of my organic mango, so I am going to go with this random save mart mango that's non organic but I can't live without mango so I packed our bags when we on our way So this smoothie bowl has to weigh a decent amount because I'm struggling holding it up, but I put in peaches instead of the mangoes because I found some organic peaches I had in the freezer and I forgot that I added flax seeds. I like to use the whole flax seeds so then when I put them in the smoothie, they grind up and that releases their more nutrient, like the omegas or something. I'm not totally sure, but I love getting as much nutrients as I can in the morning, especially on the weekend when I have more time to make this. So I need to eat this before it all melts. So I'm going to go eat this and I'm going to watch my new faves. Their names are Eamon and Beck and they travel the world in a sprinter van and it just makes me want to travel. Like I haven't done much traveling in my life, but I just want to be them. It just looks so fun. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go do. An update, I am going to go get some lunch at this beautiful organic place here in my small town. It's one of my favorite places. Since it's Saturday, I like to go there. They're not open on Sundays, so I take advantage of them on Saturdays. And I just went to my local co-op to get a couple of ingredients for the rest of the day. And I will show you that grocery haul in a couple minutes but let me go get some food. I went to my co-op and I wanted to get some baking supplies for a lemon bread I want to try out so I picked up more celery and these are kind of tiny like usually the ones I get are pretty large so I might be using one and a half for my celery juice because this morning it was like this size celery and I usually like at least 16 to 32 ounces so got that. I got my favorite adaptogenic tea kombucha. It is tastes like straight up root beer. I've always been a root beer fan, but I don't drink soda anymore. So I like to 
spoil myself with this sometime. Sometimes. And I got three lemons because I'm going to make a lemon bread and I use lemon water in the morning. I got my gluten-free oats. Um, they're, it sucks because they're so much more expensive. I'm sure I can get them cheaper online, but these are easy and I, I can't find my oat jar so since I just moved and I'm using plastic so I picked up a jar of organic cane sugar a jar my old applesauce jar of just some plain white rice my nighttime moisturizer I usually use the vanilla one but I'm gonna try out this orange baking powder and gluten-free flour I got this is a dressing for the pesto. I got my favorite gluten-free bread. It has sweet potato, um, I can't think, bell peppers, vegan cheese, pesto, and onions with a salad. My next snack, I know it's backwards, sorry. It's a adaptogenic kombucha from the GTS brand. It tastes like root beer. You have to try it. Hello, I just wanted to check in, tell you what I am up to. I'm actually on a walk right now with Rory, my pup. She's been all of a sudden really afraid of men. Like we just walked by a little boy and his dad and she like flipped out and like tried to run away. So I don't know what that's all about. And she did that yesterday when my dad's friend came over, so. I am not sure, or you leave it, I'm not sure what this one has going on in her head because she's always been great with people. So if you guys have any tips of if your dog is afraid of humans all of a sudden, um, yeah, she's a three-year-old German Shepherd mixed with something else. We got her from the shelter, so. I don't know what her life was like before, but we've had her for two and a half years almost, or over two and a half years, so I don't know. So anyways, I am going to finish this walk. I am listening to a podcast right now, and we're going to go make some lemon bread cake thing. Just ate some tahini. Bitter. I am making some white rice, and then I just whipped up oh, this concoction. It is chickpeas, chickpea flour, tahini, onion, parsley, garlic, and I'm going to add in my turmeric after I blend this because I just don't want this to turn yellow. And this is the tahini I'm using. It's so good. And this is my cake. It turned out really nice. I can't wait to try it. So. Yeah, I'm gonna cut into this soon after I take a photo of it, of course. I just made fruit, some falafels, broccoli, and a little bit of extra cauliflower, and some white rice. And I topped it with, I just ran out of my favorite coconut amino teriyaki sauce. So I have a little bit of liquid aminos on top. They are soy. So, this is what the bowl looks like. I'm so excited to eat. And my lemon bread. It's not good. I don't like it. So, I probably won't be eating much of it. It's like super gummy and tastes like apple cider vinegar. So, I'm not the hugest fan, but oh well. So, that is all I ate today. I'm just finishing my night with a cup of lemon balm tea if you want to see more from me please subscribe like this video so i know i'm going in the right direction and yeah i will talk to you guys soon thanks for watching